Hey everyone, how are you doing out there in the world in isolation? I hope you're doing okay. I'm really thankful that the Met Opera has given us uh, this bonus, unexpected bonus of live online videos of operas each day. It's definitely keeping me interested. And of course, there's all kinds of other, everyone in the world is trying to put out online content. So it's a very rich world out there now, as far as opera goes. Um, Andrew's not available to help me. So I might have to answer comments after we're done because between juggling bracelets and not spilling or knocking anything over, trying to no, navigate comments is not gonna happen right now, but I will ch attend to them as soon as we're done. In the comments link, it takes you right to the uh, current Wagner page and you can peruse them at your leisure. They are 19% off unless they are a clearance item, in which case they are 40% off. And we are giving 5% of all our sales this month or you know, forever long they provide this free content to the Met to help them out during this time when they had to cancel <laughs> the remaining part of their season and um oh that's right we're having a sip and show so everybody have a sip i'd like to tell you this is something exotic but it is grapefruit juice so that uh, we keep our vitamin c up it's very important that's one of the things i'm worried about spilling and knocking over okay so i just wanted to before we get started on bracelets i want to give you a little i'll give a little plug to the met live in hd facebook group they sell these um obviously it's backwards on facebook it says live like a valkyrie hoyo to ho and uh, on the back which it's not gonna be easy to show it but it's, yeah it's hard to show it but it's um a valkyrie on a horse and uh, just our setup right now. I can't just spin around. But I will put a link to it. She just saw my, my inquiry about it. So I'm going to put a link in the comments when I'm done. And I'll put another link in my email tomorrow morning. So if anybody wants to uh, grab a Valkyrie shirt as a little memento of Wagner week. But obviously we want you to check out bracelets. And oh, I do see... Um, I see Andrew... Um, putting in comments and he's supposed to be in a meeting. So I don't know. Monday was the first night of Wagner week and it was Tristan and Isolde. And uh, I'm going to spin the camera a little bit to show you the Tristan and Isolde bracelet. It is actually, I believe it is a clearance item, 40% off. I'm going to move you a little closer to see it. Uh, not my favorite this tripod's not my favorite I'm sorry friends okay so the story begins on a full story bracelet at one end of the bracelet it's the ocean and they're on a boat as you probably know if you've come this far you know the story of Tristan and Isolde and uh, they reach a point where Tristan offers Isolde his sword to take revenge on him that's the sword Isolde is a frosty bead because her name literally means ice princess. Branwen is a white cat's eye. Her name means white raven. And she's a cat's eye because she is the witness to this story. So when you're talking about vision, I like to use cat's eye. Here we have the love potion, a heart, and a droplet. There's the cup. There's the heart, big crystal heart for their love. And they end up at Tintagel Castle here, the castle, where she marries King Mark. These are the wedding rings. And we go along, and this is the big love duet, this big Celtic heart. And uh, the sun comes up on that night of rapture. We go along in the story, and then uh, Tristan is injured. This is the red blood droplet. And this is act three, a song is playing a little shepherd boy. That's the music and that eases Tristan's anguish because he's dying and got a poison wound and it's bad. So the story goes along to the end here where we have black beads surrounding a crystal heart because everybody dies. Okay, spoilers. That is the Tristan and I sold a full story bracelet. 
This here is the Love Potion bracelet, the inspired by for that opera. And we have sort of wine colors because he, they say that the Love Potion looks like wine. And a sword again, the Celtic heart, and the goblet. So onto the ring, Dust Rheingold. Let's just do some highlights of the Dust Rheingold bracelet. And I want to mention that the dust, the ring cycle set gives you a 25% discount over buying bracelets separately. And then you're going to get the 19% off. So that's a good deal at the moment if you're a ring fan. So the story begins, as you know, the beginning of the world, the Rhine Maidens, these three crystals. There's the Rhine Maiden. Alberic, the dwarf, comes along. There's the Rhine Gold, that golden star. He makes the deal to forsake love, a black heart. And as we go along, we meet Freya and her golden apples. Go along, this is Loki or Loge, the fire god. And they go down and they get Alberic's treasure, all that gold there, and the ring. And they come along and Votan wants to keep the ring and Erda says, don't do it. These are the frost giants, these big frosty beads and uh, Thor's hammer and they go to the castle of Valhalla. Then the Rhine Maidens lament at the end. So that's a quick run through of the Das Rheingold bracelet. And if you go to the, that page in the link and go to the Das Rheingold bracelet, you'll see a chart which tells you what in great detail what every bead symbolizes. The Valkyra bracelet. Now this was, in fact, the first bracelet that I thought of because we went to Valkyra and found nothing of interest at the shop. So it begins with stormy gray beads and crystals and Sigmund and Sieglinda, and this is Hunding keeping them apart, you know, sort of a symbolic of their being separated as children. This is the ash tree leaf. This little silver bead is the sword and they fall in love, and there's a beautiful moonlit night. So you gotta know that story by now. Uh, Fricka here is a sort of a greenish bead, and this little bead separates her from Wotan because they are having a big argument. And uh, Brunhilde has a, is the wing and the Aurora Borealis bead. She um, can't understand why her father has made this decision because she has always been taught to love Sigmund. So, you know, she makes the decision to have free will, and Votan doesn't like that one little bit. So, we go along, we come to the Ride of the Valkyries, Valkyrie helmet, and all the Aurora Borealis beads, because in Bullfinch's mythology, Aurora Borealis is created by the Valkyrie shields. And she res she Sigmund is killed, she, she rescues Sieglinda, and tells her about baby Siegfried. That's that little gold bead there. And this heart shape is the famous song of Sieglinde there for a moment, um, blessing Brunhilde for saving her and her baby. And uh, Wotan is angry, big black bead, but he loves her, so their large conflicted bead sort of swirling, and he forgives her. That's the forgiveness. And this moment is where the ring's curse is hitting Wotan because now he must separate from his beloved daughter. So that's why the ring is there. And this here forms a circle of fire. Um, when you wear it, it forms almost a complete circle. So we have fiery beads and Brunhilde in the middle of it. And there's Loge. Okay, so that was a long explanation because it's my favorite. <laughs> so that's Duvalkyra. This is my second favorite. It was my first favorite, but Siegfried is my real favorite. So this is the Siegfried full story bracelet. Sieglinda bears her baby, Siegfried. There he is, real small. And Mima, the dwarf, is going to foster him. And he wants a sword. He's got the pieces of the sword. And Wotan reveals that only he who fears not may forge the sword anew. So Siegfried takes on the task. So here are all the pieces of the sword here, these little shards. 
And then he melts it down. So this is this big metallic droplet and he creates his sword. The foraging scene is so exciting. I love that part. So then we, we hit the woods. Albrecht stops by to argue with Wotan and Siegfried comes along and slays Fafnir the dragon. This is sort of similar to the giant beads, only now it's a sort of a pale green. The dragon heart drips blood on his hands. He licks it and can hear the birds. And Meme is plotting, so he kills him to protect himself. And he takes on the treasure and the ring. This black ring curse bead kind of follows along and shows up in different places on all the um, ring cycle bracelets. And by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but you should have, I hope, that I'm using multiple um, times the same beads to represent the same characters. So Sieglinda and Sigmund are these crackly golden beads. Wotan is always a blue cat's eye because he gives up an eye for wisdom. And uh, the dwarves, Mima is the sort of coppery small one, and then Albrecht is the black small one over, where did he go? Up here. So uh, he goes along and uh, Wotan, he wants to get a bride, that's the heart. Wotan wakes Erda, who is no help, and uh, then Siegfried breaks Wotan's spear, which is this crackly blue bead, which is, and then this represents how the breaking of that spear basically changes the whole direction of the world. And he comes through the fire, there's Loge again, fiery beads, and he finds Brunhilda and illuminating love. I'm not at that part yet. I was still watching it before we started this, but we're almost at the big love duet, which is great. So that is the Siegfried bracelet. And of course, we come to our Gotcha Damarang bracelet, which believe it or not, is not the longest story we've ever made into a bracelet. That honor goes to Les Miserables. It's like 800 something pages. Okay, so we're at the um, the pine tree, the fir tree, because the Norns, here they are, three knotted beads, because they weave the cord of fate on the fir tree, because the world ash tree has died. So we come along, there's the curse bead, because now the world is under this curse. Siegfried is in love with Brunhilda, there's a small version of the ring that he gives to her. He goes on his Rhine journey. He meets the Gibikungs and uh, falls victim to their plot here. This twisty bead is the plot and the heart, sort of cloudy heart, he's forgetting Brunhilde. Um, Valtrauta, another Valkyrie, stops by to talk to Brunhilde. By the way, Brunhilde is now not an Aurora Borealis crystal. She is clear. Aurora Borealis has like an iridescence to it. Now it's clear because she is human. Valtrauta wants her to give up the ring, but she will not do that. So the curse hits her and Siegfried, um, you know, comes and steals her for Gunther. So now in Act 2, uh, Albrecht is influencing his son Hagen to, you know, get the ring. And the three Gibikungs are here. They're planning weddings, but Brunhilde is not having any of it. This is her stirring things up. Siegfried runs into the Rhine Maidens and they're like, give us the ring. But he says no. So there's the curse again. And the red droplet is his death. So there is a big funeral pyre, as you know. Grane dies with Brunhilde. Oops, I'm stuck. Grane, what are you doing to me? And uh, Brunhilde, Siegfried, and Grane in the fire. And then uh, Hagen's trying to get hold of the ring, but he, they kill each other, him and Gunther. The Ryan Maidens get the ring. There they are. The gold is back where it's supposed to be. Wotan burns up with everyone in Valhalla. And the world is reborn here. And we revisit that theme of love's redemption is symbolized by the larger gold bead, hearkening back to the same bead in a smaller size on the Duvalkyra bracelet. So it's kind of an intricate project doing the, um, the ring cycle bracelets because I wanted them all to interconnect to each other by using multiple beads 
repeatedly so that the story connects through all the four bracelets. And again, they are available in a set if you would like to um, take advantage of the 25% off plus 19% off. So there are inspired by bracelets also, which are a little, I always say, easier to show you. So I showed you the Love Potion one for Tristan. These are for Dos Rheingold. Let's give you a... So this is the Rainbow Bridge bracelet with Valhalla, Thor's Hammer, and Fro's Sword. And they are, it's rainbow colored crystals and then gray crystals represent the storm for that moment when Votan, not Votan, Thor, he calls the thunder and the, to clear the air. This is the Primordial Rhine bracelet and it's a brand new design. The pictures you see on the website will be slightly different because I haven't taken new pictures yet, but uh, it needed a refitting. So the Rhine Maiden, the padlock heart for the Albrick for swearing love and the ring. So those are for Das Rheingold. By the way, that Rainbow Bridge bracelet is the last one in existence. It's a clearance item, so you're going to find it at a lower price than anything else. And um, it's the last Rainbow Bridge bracelet we've got. And this is the Valkyrie, Ride of the Valkyries bracelet. So we've got her helmet, we've got a wing for flight, and the flying horse. And then here, let's chip it up for you, the Aurora Borealis beads nine of them to represent the nine Valkyries. That was really where I began. I was sitting in the Met Opera shop after seeing Valkyra, and I was like, wouldn't it be great if there was something that had like nine Aurora Borealis beads to represent the Valkyries? I apparently, I was the only one at that point who had that idea. <laughs> so there we go, whole company was born from, from that musing. These are inspired by for Siegfried get them behaving here. All right, this is the forest murmur bracelet. So we have the wood bird, Fafnir the dragon, and the sword no tongue. There's leaf beads, and then here in the center is the dragon's heart with a heart-shaped crystal droplets, because there's three droplets that splash and give him the pow power to understand the birds. This is the Brunhilde's Awakening bracelet, so it's all sort of rosy dawn and golden colors. There's a sun, that's the first words out of her mouth, hail to the sun, and then her and Siegfried in love, and the star for illuminating love. Andrew's here Hi, to everyone. say hello. <laughs> thank you for the person who just bought something from us. Oh, hooray, thank you. We appreciate that. And all jewelry is sanitized before it leaves here during this sensitive period. All right, so let's see here. We've got, this is the inspired by for Gotcha Drummerong is called the Rings Redemption. It's a mixture of fiery colors with greens and then some little touches of gray for ash. So it really represents that sort of last 15 minutes of Gotcha Drummerong. So we have Valhalla, the ring and the Rhine Maiden. Now this over here is available only through the Met Opera Shop. It is the exclusive ring cycle charm bracelet. So it go, there are charms on here that represent the whole journey and I can pull this off and kind of show them to you better. They're still open for online orders. They say that things might just take um, a little longer to get to you, but they are still open. So if you want one of these, it's only through the Met Opera Shop. So we've got the Rhine Maiden here on this end. Let's everybody stay still. We've got a Rhine Maiden. We've got Valhalla. The tree is for the Winter Storm duet, duet with, um, let me see if I can show this to you better. There's the tree for Sigmund and Sieglinda in Hunding's house with the tree. By the way, your, your shirt is reads back. Reads. I know, it's backwards. I explained that at the beginning. My shirt Sorry. is backwards. <laughs> so what else is on here? Okay. After that, we have the Valkyrie helmet. Let me get back. Ah, there it's showing. It. Then the sword. Then the dragon. The two hearts are Sieg, uh, Siegfried and Brunhilde in love. And then the ring. And it's all golden colors. 
And again, the Met Opera Shop would obviously appreciate your support as well, but um, they don't know how quickly they can ship things. <laughs> so. Sip and show. So everybody have a cup of a sip of uh, tea, gin and tonic, whatever you've got going. Grapefruit juice. Okay. And then the last two. This is kind of there was not as much as last week where we had all the top, you know, popular operas. This weekend we'll have the opportunity to see Die Meistersinger and Tannhaus. Again, I don't pronounce everything right. It's just my personal brand. <laughs> okay. So the prize song bracelet is inspired by Die Meistersinger. So we have a heart for the love that is the purpose of the song. He needs to win the contest so that he can win the girl. So music note, because again, he must, oh, let's see, if it's backwards, you're gonna see it forwards. So it's a clef note to represent the song he has to create. And I can't even remember the name of the guy in the, so I, gotta, I better watch it, right? So I know what I'm talking about. And then the laurel wreath is the prize. And there's all like pale pink and dark pink flowers with green leaves because it takes place in the late spring, early summer. The Tannhauser is, uh, we have Venus because it all starts out, he's with Venus and uh, it's not good enough for him, he wants to leave. Uh, for his girl who is very religious, Elizabeth, uh, and she is praying for his return. So she has a heart with a cross. And as you know, he seeks redemption and um, he is told that if he's ever redeemed, the Pope's staff will sprout leaves. So of course this happens because this is opera and things are magical. So this is the leaf sprouting from the Pope's staff. And then there's other leaf beads on there. You see the green, which um, represent that. In fact, when I first read the synopsis of Tannhauser, I, it was the first thing in my head. It was like, oh, we got to use leaf beads. I was very excited to do it. <laughs> so I waited a long time for it to come live in HD, so I had a reason to do it. And, of course, we have earrings. I'm going to show them to you closer. Obviously, you will have nice, clean, fresh ones, not these. <laughs> so the um, Siegfried and Brunhilde earrings. Don't swing. Be nice. So it's the ring with a, a sword. And some beads, the red bead is the dragon blood, an iridescent heart, his love for Brunhilde. The other one, let's get it. The Valkyrie helmet, let's get it in focus. Doesn't wanna play nice with us. There we go. Then there's a fiery crystal for her in the fire. And again, the Aurora Borealis bead to represent her status as a Valkyrie. So, let's see. Let me look at my paper. This is all the things I probably forgot to say. Take a sip. <laughs> okay. The um, schedule as it stands. Got your drum run tonight. I'm going to actually watch it tomorrow as if it was alive in HD. I'm going like, to put it on at 12 and just like watch it. Then tomorrow night they will make, I believe it is in Meistersinger available and then Tannhauser on Sunday night. Next week starts a new schedule. You can find it on their website. It's a mixture of all different things, including Andrew's favorite, Barber of Seville. So he's looking forward to that. And um, just go to the Mets homepage and you'll find it. Also, if you're looking for other kinds of operas, there's opera on video, there's opera vision. You can find a lot out there. And in fact, um, opera America has actually created a page where all the opera companies in America are posting any of their online content. So it's kind of all in one place. So there's a lot available to watch. You got plenty of time. So Monday we will change over the collection to reflect the operas that will be performed at the, on the Met stream next week. So you have until Sunday night, evening, about midnight probably, to buy the Wagner collection at 19% off. And of course, if you are a returning customer and you sign into your account, you get an extra 10% off. So it's a good opportunity. I know graduations and Mother's Day, I know it's not really graduation, which is sad, 
but um, it's still nice to give a special gift to a student or teacher this time of year. And uh, Mother's Day will come come up no matter what. So I hope you're enjoying the ring, getting a chance to see it if you haven't seen this production before with the machine. And it is amazing. Uh, we will be giving 5% to the Met. All jewelry is sanitized before it leaves. Let's see, is there anything else, and as long as you're here, that I'm forgetting to tell everyone? You're wonderful. No. Yes, you are. <laughs> my, so, my wife is wonderful. She's amazing. Love and I have a does. very supportive husband who came and to help me And very supportive this. staff. Yes. We are thankful to, for everyone. And um, I just hope you're doing okay out there. I mean, it's a lot going on, but we have opera to distract us and calm us the at the moment. And the Met is still holding back some of the big ones. Right. I mean, next week has a lot of nice operas. Pearl Fishers. Love the Pearl Fishers, especially that filmed version of the Pearl Fishers. It's amazing. And... Norma. Norma. What else? I mean, do you have, I have it printed out somewhere, but now I lost it. What else? Norma, Barbara Seville. I'll tell you in a second, but tell them what they're, tell them what hasn't come up yet. Okay, so yeah, the big guns have not come up yet. Tosca, Madama Butterfly. What else did you Turindo. say? Turindo. Um, Marriage of Figaro. Marriage of Figaro. Exactly. There's there's still a lot of great things to come at the Met. I don't know, you know, what their mentality is on choosing what's going to happen each week, but there's plenty out the, there. But if you want the list, oh, Nixon in China. Yeah, that's good. If you want the list, go to our page. There's a link on our special live in HD sale page. They'll take you right to the page on the Met site. Actually, I don't know if that page is is still the link. Yes, it is. Is it? Oh, yes, okay. It is. All right, so, so what is, we, I remembered Nixon and China. Dialogue of the Carmelites. Dialogue of the Carmelites. Now, if you, for an intense night, Dialogue of the Carmelites. But it was, I found it good to, like, experience the history, or, like, research the history. Dialogue of the Carmelites. And the, that uh, means the Martyr's Bracelet will be going into the category next week, and it is incredibly popular, so... Barbara, Heads up on that one. Barbara of Seville from 2007 with Joyce DiDonato, Juan Diego Flores, and Peter Matei. Oh, that is going to be, I'm going to be It's going to be a good Barbara in front Seville. Of the TV for that. Then there's Nixon in China, all right? Nixon in China, Don Carlo. Don Carlo. That was a nice with Don Carlo. Roberto, Roberto Alagna and Simon Keenly's son. Yeah. That was, an, that was intense. And that was another one where I was like, the heck is going on here so i came home and like did all sorts of historical research on wikipedia learned a whole lot of, about those characters who are all real people macbeth i'm seeing yes but pearl fishers is friday the third with dan damro matthew ponzani and marius Ch marius quichin gratuitous skin tight clothes on marius quichin <laughs> Macbeth with Anna Trebko, Joseph Kalea, Zindio Lujic, and Renee Papa. Yeah, I don't know if I saw that Macbeth and Norma on uh, next Sunday. Joyce DiDonato. Sa Sander Ranofsky, Joseph Kalea, and Matthew Rose. That yeah. was a more recent one from a couple years ago. Yeah, that was a good so one. So they're doing a good job mixing up the old and the new. The oldest one is the Barbara Seville. It's one of the first right. ones. So plenty to come. And like I said, there's still huge... Um, popular operas that they haven't hit yet so we have a lot to look forward to these next couple weeks I just don't know how long they're planning to do it for but the fact that they're holding back those big guns tells me it's gonna be at least another week well the, the season's done so they want to go probably at least they probably the end of the go season. to the May the, the end of what is it May 9th was supposed to be the end of the season so and actually I do not know tomorrow's radio broadcast what it's going to be they said that it was going to be archival broadcasts to take the place of their live broadcast well, that's the chance they can have to play Pavarotti or something like that which you can't do on live HD obviously oh maybe I don't know I don't know what they're gonna do I I almost wonder if they couldn't mix in some really you know older filmed versions of operas that might be a nice touch sort of mix it in instead of it being all live in HD I mean there's other older filmed broadcasts so you never know all right so again uh, hit the link you'll see the Wagner collection that will change over to the new next set of operas between Sunday night Monday morning and 19% uh, off sign into your account you get another 10% off 
buy their set of ring cycle bracelets, and it's 20, tomorrow, another 25. Tomorrow's so. wear to. Oh, on the radio? Wear with Lisette. Yeah, but that was what it was going to be live. No, it says here for March 15th, 2014. Okay, Lisette Orpesa and Jonas Kaufman and Sophie. Sophie Coke. Okay, Sophie Koch. Okay, they so have that's them all tomorrow. Up here actually, going through to the end. So nothing, nothing old, really. They're, I think they're just trying to mirror what it would have been live, only using a historical broadcast. Okay, so radio or on their website, you've got plenty available. And any questions? Just uh, pop a note in the comments, send me a message, send me an email, send it off for bracelets.com. And I hope you are enjoying um, Wagner Week. And uh, it's nice to kind of break it up because, you know, them being so long, uh, I've been sort of watching an act at night, an act at breakfast, and an act later in the day. So it's been nice. All right, friends. Stay sane, stay safe, stay healthy. All jewelry is sanitized before shipping.